Come in, Forster. You called, Mr. Fox, sir? Huh? It's now 10.32, Forster. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, sir. I'll fetch your clothes at once. You took notice of the thermometer reading this morning? The bath water was precisely 86 Fahrenheit when I entered the tub. You know my requirements, Forster. 84 degrees, sir. I'm terribly sorry, sir. Thank you, Forster. Grimes. Yes, sir. You may serve Mr. Fogg. But he isn't here, sir. He will be in exactly one minute at noon. Today being Tuesday, he will take the white fish with Reading sauce. Yes, sir. And a rhubarb and gooseberry tart with just a morsel of Cheshire cheese. I'll see to it instantly, sir. Day, Mr. Fogg, sir. The white fish is excellent this morning, sir. A little less of the sauce, Wilson. Yes, sir. Well, go on. Go on. Then what happened? The banknotes were tied together on my desk. I turned my back for a second. You turned your back. Gone. The banknotes were gone. Have you any idea what he looked like? Well, well, he was dressed like a gentleman. Very well. <laughs> McBain's. I want every clerk who was on the floor at the time of the robbery to be questioned. Oh, yes, sir. And I shall inform Scotland Yard. Scotland Yard? Oh, nincompoops. Do you expect me to rely on them? Uh, uh, no, sir. We'll hire our own people. Oh, yes, sir. Mark my words. This is the most dreadful scandal. I want the thief brought to justice before the week is out. Understand? Oh, completely, sir. Oh, completely. One minute to six. He'll be here on the dot. Tell me, what does Fogg do exactly? We don't really know. Certainly not public employment. I believe he has travelled abroad considerably. He seems well acquainted with the various parts of the world. One thing for certain about Fogg, he'll do tomorrow precisely what he's done today. Hmm. Gentlemen, I believe it's six o'clock. Shall we begin? Oh, good evening. On Friday last, as you may recall, you woke me at seven minutes past eight. On Sunday, the morning tea was tepid. This morning, as you will doubtless recall, the bath temperature was not satisfactory. Therefore, after serious consideration, I regret to inform you that you are discharged as of tomorrow morning at nine o'clock precisely. Oh, sir. Some things, Forster, one simply cannot forgive. You will, of course, be given two weeks' severance pay. Oh, you're very generous, sir. Don't mention it, Forster. Don't mention it. 